The lineup to the World Boxing Super Series tournament at Bantamweight 118 pounds has been finalized. And one of the entrants is, as many people will already know, Nonito Donaire, the Filipino Flash. Now, to me, this sounds like a, a bad idea, uh, a bad calculation from Donaire. He won't have fought at 180 pounds bantamweight since 2011, seven years ago, when he knocked out Omar Narvez uh, in two rounds, I believe. His last fight was against Carl Frampton at featherweight, where he looked pretty good in spots against the rejuvenated Jackal, you know, that was, um, that would have been a respectable losing performance to bow out to. He was very gracious with people after the fight, I remember, in the SSE arena in Belfast, a lot of people were just saying what a good sportsman he is. It would have been a good idea for Donair to probably bow out at that time for weight world champion and go, you know, f fair play, you know, you've got nothing left, left to prove. With him coming back into this tournament, it just seems like a bad, cal you know, a bad uh, miscalculation here. It reminds me of when Chris Bird, who campaigned at heavyweight for a while, he went back down to light heavyweight, I think, at the end of his career, and he was just had no strength left. You know, the tank was running on empty. And kind of similar with Roy Jones, he was never the same when he lost that, uh, the weight, the muscle weight at heavyweight, and he went back down. He was weaker, the reflexes were there, and then he got quickly found out. So. Maybe Donaire, with him actually being box rec, um, has him at five foot seven and a half. That's quite tall for bantamweight, and uh, a reach of sixty-eight inches. So maybe he's thinking here. Maybe kind of like Nicholas Walters used to be before he got completely owned by Lomachenko. Some people had him as a bit of a weight bully, and of course it was Donaire who succumbed to Walters a few years ago, who was a massive featherweight. Maybe Donaire's thinking, if I go back down to bantamweight, my natural frame here might be able to overcome some of these younger talents. But you got Emmanuel Rodriguez, Ryan Burnett, Naoya Anui, of course, and then Zolani Tete, who's the only guy who's actually got a pretty big frame at that weight, but maybe he's thinking that's the idea here, maybe try and bully them, but at 35 and with Donair having quite a few wars as well, I'm just thinking, you know, this is not a good idea. What do you think? Is he, um, does he genuinely believe he could do some damage here? Is he going to be and try and be a, a bit of a weight bully here? I know he started uh, way back down in flyweight, but you know, a naturally bigger frame went up the weight. Do you think he's trying to do a bit of weight bullying here? Is it just a bad idea? Who do you think he'll be paired up with? And if he is paired up with one of the better four, what do you think the result will be? Uh, I'd like to think he's, uh, he'll be able to do well, but I think this is just a bad idea for the Filipino flash.